वेलकम स्टूडेंट कॉलेज शिक्षा विभाग राजस्थान द्वारा ज्ञानदूत कार्यक्रम में आप सभी का स्वागत है अभिनंदन है ज्ञानदूत कार्यक्रम के अंतर्गत स्नातक और स्नातकोत्तर विषय पर ऑनलाइन लाइव कक्षाओं का आयोजन किया जा रहा है स्टूडेंट आप लेक्चर को ध्यान से सुनिए ताकि डाउट सेशन में आपके डाउट्स को क्लियर किया जा सके अपने जो भी डाउट्स हैं उन्हें चैट बॉक्स में लिखिए ताकि उन्हें हम डाउट सेशन में क्लियर कर सके माई टॉपिक इज आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ फ्रेश वॉटर फिशेस आई एम डॉक्टर अरुणा चक्रवर्ती एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ जुआलॉजी गवर्नमेंट डूंगर कॉलेज बीकानेर scientific identification of fishes is based mainly on external characters such as body shape length depth mouth and nature of fish spines and scales fish are segregated mainly based on the presence or absence of scales on the body when scales are present they are further separated based on body shape number and length of fins in the case of fishes without fin they are separated according to the total number of barbels classification of fishes for scientific study is done through taxonomy or systematics under this each fish is given a name of two words the first one is generic name and the second specific name followed by the name of author who described it first there may be many fishes under the first word which is called genus this indicates the affinity of the fish group under the same genus due to common features similarly a number of genera are group under the term family while a number of families are put under an order many orders come under a class the character differentiated order and families are distinct but down the hierarchy they become insignificant for identification the fishes are first group under orders then families genera and species most fish have common characteristics that include gills scales fins and bony skeleton some characteristics that differentiate fish include the shape of their heads where their mouths are located fin type and location and average adult size salient features of the fishes aquatic fishes are aquatic freshwater or marine ectothermic vertebrates an exoskeleton of scales is usually present in fishes integument contain mucus glands and chromatophores organ of respiration are gills present throughout life the gill slits are five pair but never more than seven pairs lateral line system is well developed it is sensitive to water current and changes in pressure and vibrations endoskeleton cartilaginous or bony there is no middle ear only internal ear is present eyelids and tear gland absent fleshy muscular tongue is absent visceral skeleton well developed locomotion by muscular contraction assisted by paired and unpaired fins which are supported by fin rays of dermal origin the paired visceral arches are present the first pair form upper and lower jaws the second pair form suspensorium and remaining support the gills kidney mesonephric 10 pair cranial nerves unisexual animal and development indirect so fishes are aquatic animal streamlined body 
swim with the help of fins, cold-blooded animals, body covered with scales, breathe through gills and give birth by laying eggs. Freshwater fish found within the northeast. Fin fish are cold-blooded aquatic vertebrates that have gills, fins with rays and scales covering the body. Freshwater fish spend most or all of their life in freshwater such as rivers and lakes. Around 40% of all known species of fish are found in freshwater. They may be divided into cold water, example, masi, trout, etc. Warm water fishes, example, carps, catfishes, snack heads, and feather bags. Freshwater fishes around 70% of India fish production comes from inland water, of which nearly 65% comes from aquaculture. Out of the total inland aquaculture production, Indian major carp are the most cultured freshwater fish, followed by exotic carp, minor carp, catfishes, and trout. There are around 1300 carp hatcheries in India that produce seed and supply to fish farmers. Carps form the mainstay of aquaculture practices in India, contributing over 85% of total aquaculture production. Out of 266 carp species available in the Indian region, about 34 carp species are economical and are produced mainly from capture fishes, while less than 10 carp species are produced from both the culture and capture fishes in the country. India is called the carp country. Katla, Rohu, Mrigal. That contributes 60% of total carp production. The carp that were introduced from other countries are referred to as exotic carp, such as silver carp, grass carp, and common carp. Beside the major carps, there are also smaller carps often referred to as minor carp such as riba that is Sirinus riba, bata that is Libio bata, fringe lipped carp that is Libio fimbriatus, kalbasu that is Libio kalbasu, white carp that is Sirinus cirrhosus and kaveri carp that is Libio contius. Catfishes are a diverse group of reef-in fish named for their prominent barbers which resembles a cat's whiskers. Catfish can generally be found in faster flowing rivers and streams. Some catfish species have adapted to living in shallow saltwater environment, while other catfish species live in caves underground. Most catfishes are bottom feeder as they are negatively buoyant, which means that they usually sink rather than float due to a reduced gas bladder and a heavy bony head. The air-breathing catfishes such as mangoor and singai inhabit shallow water, withstand low oxygen condition and are referred to as live fishes. They are marketed leaf and fat higher prices. Feather bags are adapted to flowing condition and widely distributed in deep and clear water in the river, wheels, reservoir and ponds. The bronze feather bag is reported to enter brackish water. They are carnivorous and predatory fish and feed on aquatic insects, molars, shrimps, and small fish and take insects and tender roots of aquatic plant during early stages of life. They are rich in nutritive value and command higher market price despite the presence of a large number of intramuscular spine. Small indigenous fish species. They are defined as fish 
that grow to a maximum size of 25 to 30 centimeter in mature or adult stage of their life cycle. They inhabit rivers and tributaries, flood plains, ponds and tanks, lakes, beaches, streams, lowland areas, wetland and paddy fields. In India, out of 877 native freshwater fish species, about 450 are small indigenous fish species. The maximum diversity of small indigenous fish species in freshwater has been recorded from the northeast region, followed by Western Ghat and Central India. About 62 small indigenous fish species have been categorized as food fish, while 42 species as ornamental fish. Some cultivable, some some cultivable small indigenous fish species are mola, climbing perch, barbs, and bata. The snakeheads are member of the freshwater Perciformis fish family genetic, native to part of Africa and Asia. They inhabit swampy water and their gills are adapted to breathe air. They can survive out of water for up to four days, provided they are weighed and are known to migrate up to 400 meter on wetland to other bodies of water by wriggling with their body and fins. They have a pair of air chamber that is suprabranchial cavity developing from the pharynx lined by vascular epithelium take in air and function like lungs. Snakeheads consume plankton, aquatic insects and mollusks during early life stages and become predatory and cannibalistic as they grow. The snakehead meat has good taste, high nutrient and also has high pharmaceutical value. Snakehead also has all the essential amino acid for wound healing, especially glycine, which is important for the formation of human skin collagen. Tilapias are a group of sigillate fish native to the African continent. In the Central African countries, farming of tilapians in bone was introduced after Second World War and then soon spread to most of the tropical and subtropical countries of the world and hence they are referred to as international fish. Although most of the natural resources of tilapias are found mainly in Africa, nearly 80% of the global aquaculture production of tilapias of about 5 million metric tons come from Asia. Tilapias are considered the most important aquaculture species of the 21st century and they are being cultured in 100 countries of the world commercially ranging from extensive to super intensive scale. Cold water fishes occupy an important place amongst the freshwater fishes of India. The cold water fishes deal with fishes activity in water where temperature of water ranges from 5 to 20 degrees centigrade. The gills of cold water fishes are greatly reduced and the gill opening are smaller in size for adaptation to cold temperature. Important cold water fishes of India are Mahasi, Tortor, Shizothorex, Richard Sunai, Mountain Trout, Gara, etc. Fish and health benefits. Fishes and aquaculture have been considered as an important means of poverty, elevation, and food security beside promoting health and well-being. Fishes often referred to as rich food for poor people as it provides essential nourishment with both macronutrient and micronutrient. Fish contain low fat, high quality protein with omega 3 fatty acid and vitamins. Fish is rich in calcium 
and phosphorus and a great source of minerals such as iron, zinc, iodine, magnesium and potassium. On a fresh weight basis, fish contain a good quantity of protein about 18 to 20 percent and all the eight essential amino acids including the sulfur containing lysine, methionine and cysteine. Fish is also called brain food as it helps in development and function of brain and heart food as it contributes to lower risk of heart attack and strokes. Consumption of fish reduces risk of autoimmune system. Fish is soft, easy to cook and more easily digested that means so even young children can be fed fish contributing to improve nutrient intake. So, fish adds in weight loss, help to strengthen cell membrane, boost immune system and energy level, protect skin and kidney against infection, reduce risk of breast, colon and kidney cancer, helps to reduce risk of developing depression in women, promotes growth and development of muscle and body, helps to reduce blood pressure and risk of heart disease, and in improving blood circulation and metabolism in body, help to prevent inflammatory disease such as arthritis. So student, aapke jo bhi doubts hain, usse chat box mein likhe, taaki doubt session mein आपके डाउट्स को क्लियर किया जा सके थैंक यू